Tuesday the 20th of August welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to another special edition of uh, the Cryptic Mystic today we're solving another subscribers home spun cryptic crossword um, Simon Garner um, a long time supporter of the channel now um, sent me a crossword over the weekend and um, decided to try and solve it today just like I did with Tim's last week I'm really looking forward to this Simon said there's a is it incorporated a theme to the puzzle, which is really intriguing and has made me quite excited to try and solve this. Um, so it's fantastic. I've had two homespun crosswords to do now in a week. And uh, if anyone else has any any ideas to do this or, or wants to do it, please feel free to, to, to email me. You'll find my email address in the channel description. But I think this is great content for people to watch. It's quite fun to try and do um, someone's crossword in this way. Um, so look, let's let's get on with it and see what we have in store. Um, like I said, there's a theme to the crossword. It's also not a traditional 15 by 15 crossword puzzle layout, as you'll see in a sec. Um, Simon's done that just to incorporate the, the theme a little bit. Um, but I'll change to the screen now just so you can see what I'm looking at. There you are. So it's, as you can see, it's a, it's more of a puzzly type of, of, of layout. Um, it's done on Excel. So you'll have to bear with me, like just like we did with Tim's last week. Um, bear with me while I try to just work out what, you know, make sure I'm not typing in the wrong screen. <laughs> um, so, you know, you may find me a little bit uh, stuttery as I go along here, but that's, that's, the, that's the reason really. I want to make sure I'm typing in the right place. So shall we get started and see what this has in store for us here? Um, I'm going to start with... There's no one across in this in this clue, but there is a two across here. So let's start with two across. Um, what we have here is, is blue the color of this crime? Right. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if this is a relation to, you know, the, when I think of a crime and a color, I think particularly blue. Um, I'm thinking murder, blue murder. Could that be what this is, I think? Makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, you definitely have blue murder. Um, so let me see if I can type correctly in in the uh, in the screen now. Let's have a let's have a go at this, will we? So let's try. I'll have to I'll have to tab as I go, I think. Um oh. Just tab across. Murder, I think, is the start of this. What do you think? I think that looks that looks right. Intriguing. I wonder what the theme of this crossword is. Maybe it is murder and that type of thing, or crime or something. Um, but we're off to a start at least. Thank goodness. Um, Simon said in his email as well that he mainly do, he normally does the guardian crossword, so maybe his his sort of a. Uh, Typical clue uh, construction might be more guardian than telegraph, but we'll see. See what we how we can get on with this. Hopefully, you say hopefully we'll get to the end. Right, where are we trying now? Um, let's try, let's try three across. Um, this is fulfill the transfer of this property deed. Fulfill the transfer of this property deed. Um, Right, what is that? So what I'm trying to work out where the wordplay is and where the definition is here. Um, fulfill the transfer of this property deed. I don't see any major wordplay here. Could maybe, is it a double definition, maybe? Property deed. I'm trying to think of a name of a property deed. Um, or fulfill the transfer of. Fulfill the transfer. Not seeing this one yet. So it's going to be a tricky puzzle. This I, I can see because there, there aren't too many checking letters, are there? So this is this could be a this could be a tricky one. <laughs> 
Um, okay, let's move on. Let's see, maybe hopefully when we get we work out what the theme is, maybe that will help uh, you know get some of these answers as well. I'm going to try. Let's try nine across. Nine across is deadly dew paid to dance with ballooned heavenly feline danced. Is that right? Deadly dew paid to dance with ballooned heavenly feline danced. Um, I'm not sure what that is. If it's are we talking? I mean, there's a lot of dancing involved here. I wonder if this is. Uh, if there's an anagram in here, um, based on our murder to begin with, I wonder if deadly do here is what we're looking for. I mean, the we're looking for it's combined with uh twenty down and nine nine down. Is that right? Twenty down, nine down, deadly do. So twenty down, as well as as well as nine across. So we got seven, three, four. So this a deadly duo looks like it's something and something, isn't it? So let me have a look at that. Where's twenty down? Is here. Um. So I might just put, just to help me later. I think I'll just write and in here because I think it's something and something like Batman and Robin or something, but it won't be. They're not particularly deadly, are they? Um, Bonnie and Clyde, I'm thinking. Uh, interesting. But I think there is an anagram in here. I, I'm just trying to work out what that could be. And what's a heavenly feeling? I wonder if that's related to... Um, star signs, maybe it's Leo or something, is it? Not sure. So I'm going to move on and see if we can find one where I can get the answer to. <laughs> and then hopefully it'll help with other clues as well. So let's, let's go to 10 across. There's a plan for where to plant vegetables. Um, okay, I can think of some of this. This is, this is a plot, isn't it? I think a plot is where you um, plant vegetables. There's also another word for a, a plan. So I think this this is right, and it goes well with murder, doesn't it? If this is, yeah, very good. So I think that's cool. That's a cool clue. Sort of like a double definition clue there, I suppose. It's a plan for where to where to plot vegetables. Very good. Um, right, let's go to eleven across then, will we? So eleven across is car test. With the Spanish allows us to have somewhere to sleep. Um, car test. With the Spanish allows us to have somewhere to sleep. That's here, isn't it? Um, I know, I mean, the Spanish is either L or Les. Um, Car test, and that could be MOT, I'm thinking. Oh, this is motel. That's a cool clue. Nice. So we have um we have MOT, which is a test for roadworthiness of a car in the UK. Um and that's combined with L of Spanish to give us motel. Cool. Okay, motel, murder, plot. Hmm. Interesting. I'm trying to th think. Still sort of seems quite grimy and crimey, doesn't it? Uh, okay. Let's try 12 across. What's 12 across saying? I have a notion that while having a drink, cousins dance. I have a notion that while... Having a drink, cousins dance. Um, again, we have dance there. I wonder if there's an anagram here. And the anagram would be, so this could be I have a notion. Maybe is the is the definition. 
while having a drink cousins dance. Drink can be sup. Um, cousins dance. We're looking for nine letters, aren't we? Many letters are there in cousins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Drink, well, drink could also be tea or something like that, couldn't it? Um, yeah, not really sure. We'll have a think again about that one. Um, right, shall we try? Let's try 15 across. 15 across, we have King abandons sports car to make a brief appearance. King uh, um, abandons sports car to make a brief appearance. Um, five letters. So from that, from what we've written there, um, it looks like make a brief appearance, maybe, or brief appearance is the actual definition just from the wording of the clue. Um, I think that looks right, doesn't it? Sorry, my mouse is playing up here. Hang on a sec. Um, king abandoned. So king could be R. It's been taken out of sports car. I'm just thinking, based on the brief appearance part, I'm thinking this is Cameo. Could this be Cameo? I'm just trying to think of a sports car. Um, wow, this is hard, Simon. This is a hard puzzle. King abandons. Because King can also be K, can't it? It could also be CR too if you want to be Charles, if you're talking about the current king. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking cameo, but I can't support it really with any wordplay at the minute. So maybe my, maybe my uh, knowledge of sports cars has let me down here. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's move to the downs and see if we can get some of these downs and then maybe these acrosses will become more become more apparent. But God, this is hard. Okay, well, let's go to one down. One down, we have a uh, former lover left at Pinnacle and I went to due to dizziness. Former lover left a pinnacle and I went to due to dizziness. Um, former is normally an X, isn't it? Left at Pinnacle, and I went due. I went to due to dizziness. Not seeing that one either. I don't know what that is. I mean, if is it dizziness? Maybe is a is a definition here. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Not sure about that one either. Right. 
let's try let's try four down instead. Okay, four down, and that is um, four down is headless Bengali loses blood, then quietly tells you about this nationality. Okay, we have four down. So a headless Bengali to me is take the B off Bengali and we end off with Engali. Loses blood, then quietly tells you about this nationality. I think in quietly is normally P or it can be SH. I mean, I'm just thinking because it, I think this is the nationality, this answer. It makes sense that it ends in SH. I think I'm going to go out on a limb and think this ends in SH. Let's see how we get on here. SH. And then Headless Bengali. Quietly tells you. It was quietly. Yeah, that would be shush when if someone tells you to be quiet. Um, what's the about though? Well, I'm thinking Bengali. Start if you take the B off Bengali, you got E N G. We nearly have an English, don't we? we? Nearly have English. I'm just trying to see. Because if you look at Bengali here, you've got um, you got E N G A L I. I'm just if we can get rid of that A, then we have E N G L I. I mean, that could go with the SH, and that would give us English, wouldn't it? I'm, I'm not sure. Though, well, how do we lose the A? Is the A blood? Are we talking? Is that a is that a blood group? Um, so I'm just looking for something to use for my mouse because it's slipping on this desk. There we go. I'll try that instead. Okay, that's better. Can blood be? Suppose you do have type A, don't you, and type B and all that. Is that would that be what we're talking about here? Um also trying to type here in this I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go English. I'm gonna try anyway. Let's see. English. No. Let's go down. Why is that not the cap lock? There we go. English. Now that's throw me a little bit on our theme as well. Murder, English, plot, motel. English might not be right at all. Um, I just can't see the wordplay. Like, why is that? We're losing blood. Can blood be A? I'll, let, I'll, I'll move on. And I'll come back. I think we'll have, we have to re-examine that if we can't get anywhere. Let's try. Let's try five down now. So five down is tropical. Um, tropical trousers found with cereal. Tropical trousers found with cereal. Does this mean tropical or cereal? I think it means tropical. Trousers found with cereal. I'm thinking, just based on that P there, I'm thinking we're talking about the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Capri are a type of trouser, aren't they? I believe. I think, anyway. Um, and cereal is definitely corn. Can be corn, so that sort of works. So I think this is 
Capricorn, I think. Um, Capricorn. It's definitely tropical. Yeah, I think that's right. Nice clue, Simon. I think we've got our corn and our capri type of trousers, their trousers, aren't they? Um, yeah, unless trousers. No, I think that's right. Yeah, capri is trousers. Okay. Let's now try six down. Our six down on this crossword is here. This is six down right here. And it is um, teach this cross country vehicle. Teach this cross country vehicle. So again, this is either means teach or, or vehicle. Or it could mean both. It could be, I mean, I don't see any wordplay again. So this is probably a double definition, maybe. Teach. Train, I'm thinking train. I mean, to teach is to, a train. Is a train a cross-country vehicle? I suppose it can be. I'm going to go for it. I'm feeling, feeling good about that. I think it's a good double definition. You could, you could describe a train as a cross-country vehicle. Definitely goes cross-country, doesn't it? Um, cool. Okay. Good. Um, where are we going now? Seven down. So seven down we have a uh, cereal crop found growing on top of a wall in this English county. I mean, I want to say if a cereal is corn, I want to say Cornwall. I mean, Cornwall is definitely an English county. Um... I'm going to go for it. I think this is Cornwall. So we've got cereal crop, which is corn. We've had that already, haven't we? On top of wall. I mean, technically said a wall, but I think we mean wall here. Top of a wall. Do you know what the theme is yet? I mean, I'm Cornwall, yeah, that looks, that looks right. It's definitely an English county, Cornwall. Murder Motel, English Train, Capricorn, Cornwall Plot. Yeah, up until the motel, but I was think I'm thinking it sounds a bit like an Agatha Christie novel or something. But then we got motel, which gives us a bit more of an American feel. Um Yeah, I'm not really sure. Let's try, let's try eight down. Um, eight down, we have here, we have uh, Gypsy Choir Hides a Killer. Gypsy Choir Hides a Killer. Oh, this is a hidden word. Yes. There's our hidden word clue. Um... That was cool. Something really weird happened here, but I don't think you can see that. But um, okay, we have a hidden word here. So we have uh, gypsy choir is hiding. The words gypsy choir is hiding a killer. Look in there. We have psycho. Psycho. Okay, now I think we're I'm starting to feel maybe what this is about. Um, I'm getting. We've got a motel. We've got psycho. We got murder. Um, English. I wonder is is the theme Alfred Hitchcock movies? Could be, couldn't it? We have um, what was that film we made? Strangers on a Train. That was one, wasn't it? Then we have Psycho, Cornwall. I'm thinking, um, what's that film? There was a film, which is also a novel, isn't it? It's a woman's name, I think. 
It's set in Cornwall. Can't remember the name of it now. It's escaping me. Oh, it's somebody's name, isn't it? But yeah, this could be, maybe this is a Alfred Hitchcock films related to sort of, there tend to be a lot of murder going on in the nose, isn't there? Right. Okay. Right. Well, I'll bear that in mind when we see the other clues. It might help a lot with the answers here. Let's go to um, nine down is nine across. Which that's that deadly duo. I'm not really, still not sure what that is. Um, we try thirteen down. Thirteen down. Um, surrealist. Delhi. Exchanges notes. Surrealist Delhi exchanges notes. I mean, a surrealist that I know is Dali. I mean, so are we we're changing an E for an A? Which are notes in the scale, aren't they? The A, B, C, D, E, F, R, and G are notes in a scale. So maybe we're changing those notes. Yeah, I think that's right. Dali. Definitely a surrealist. Um, I'm not sure of the Hitchcock thing there. Did Dali appear in any Hitchcock movies? D- I don't know why I want to say he did, but I'm not really sure. Did he sort of have a walk-on part? So I know Hitchcock used to do that, didn't he? Just have little extra sort of walk-on parts. Um, but Dali's definitely... That's that. He's definitely surrealist. And maybe, yeah, Dali exchanging the notes, E for an A. There. Cool. Okay. I'm just looking at this 15 across again now because that's the one we had the King Abandoned Sports Car to make brief appearance. This, this is looking like a cameo, like a thought. This is cameo. Um, so I'm going to go with cameo. And again, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure about the the sports car, but um, it does seem like brief appearance looks right. I'm sure you'll be, maybe you know the name of a sports a sports brand or a sports car. I can't think of anything right now on that front. I mean, suppose King abandons car would be would be the C A take off the R and give us car wouldn't it? And then Mio. No. Still don't see. I'm not not sure about the wordplay there, Simon. But um, I'm fairly com- I'm fairly happy about cameo as a brief appearance there, just from a definition point of view. Cool. Right. Where to next then? Let's try. Um, twelve across is looking like we could make something out of this now. I think. Let's have a look at twelve across again. Um, I have a notion. That while having a drink, uh, cousins dance. Based on the whole theme and everything else in this word here, I think this word is suspicion. Suspicion fits here in terms of the word, the lettering. Um, and I think I can see I can see cousins in there. I think C O U S. 
I N S. So C O U S I N S, and that leaves us. Um, does that leave us P and I having a drink? Again, I'm not sure where the drink is there. I mean, while having a drink, I can see sup there as well. But then that would be some of the letters of cousin. So, sip is also there in a way. Sip is there with cousin, but not cousins. Could be that. Is that is that what we're doing there potentially? But I have a notion. Is definitely a suspicion. It fits with the sort of the theme, doesn't it? Suspicion. So again, I think that's right. I think because because I can see cousins in there, but again, I'm not sure about the pi, the extra pi bit there. Um, cool, okay, nice. Um, let's try 19 across, will we? Because it looks, uh, it looks doable, doesn't it? So, 19 across is telling me eight down is examined for t talking therapy. Um, so eight down is psycho here. Is this psychoanalysis then? Because um, it's examining um, psychoanalysis, literally, like analysis of a psycho is talking therapy, which is psychoanalysis. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's right. So I'm going to put that in. Cool. Nice one, Simon. So, oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay, hang on. P S Y C H O, and then we have the A. And now this is cool. Nice clue, Simon. Very nice. Brilliant. Psychoanalysis. Okay. Where to now then? What will we try? Let's try 14 down, will we? Let's see what this is saying. Leaf found on the coast. So this is going to be a... Again, I don't see wordplay here. Maybe it's another sort of double definition type thing. Or cryptic. As in why? I'm thinking bay, like a bay leaf. And also a bay you would find on the coast. Yeah, that seems right. Nice clue, Simon. Cool. Bay. Okay. Well, we are making progress, aren't we? We're getting there. We look at that. That center bit is looking done. <laughs> um. So let's let's keep going. And I'm sure with some lovely clues there, Simon. Some very tricky ones as well. I have to say that. Um. Still not sure if Dally's right, but I think it is. Um. Let's try, where are we going now? We don't really have, there's 21 down we have a start with here, don't we? Um, so 21 down is tea bags bouncing around with a ball causes a lot of damage. Tea bags bouncing around with a ball causes a lot of damage. What is going on here? I think I'm f sensing an anagrammy, you know, Tea bags bouncing around, making me feel anagrammy, to be honest. So an anagram of tea bags with a ball, maybe it's with a zero, with an O. We need eight letters. Tea bags is seven letters plus the O. Something that causes a lot of damage. Anagram of tea bags and O. Sabotage. Nice. That's a lovely clue, Simon. Very good. Sabotage.
Very good. I like that one. Still looking, still thinking Alfred Hitchcock. It's giving me the Alfred Hitchcock feels this, definitely. Right, let's try 23 across then, since we have a starting letter, hopefully a B. And uh, let's see what we got here. The 23 across is 80s rock group has no information about this hair color. Okay, I think I have this. So I'm thinking hair colors here. Um, blonde, I think this is. So 80s rock group is Blondie. Has no information. So we take, we're um, abbreviating information to I. Take away the I out of Blondie. And we're left with Blonde. Again, there's quite a few blondes in uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies, like Grace Kelly. She was blonde, wasn't she? Can't remember the name of the woman in uh, in Birds. The actress he used a lot. She was definitely blonde. I think. Cool. Very nice. Um, where are we going now? Then let's try. We we'll try eighteen down. See what this is. Um, this is basically saying a tropical shrub reportedly takes pictures. A tropical shrub reportedly, a tropical American shrub, sorry, reportedly takes pictures. Camera fits in that. Uh, Fits here in this in this clue, doesn't it? I'm not sure. So reportedly, is telling me this is a homophone clue. Tropical American shrub camera, camera. I'm not really good on plants. Camera definitely takes pictures. I don't know if that's right. I'm going to write it in for now. I mean, I've got no other check-in letters anyway, so um, I'm going to write camera. Um, and see. I mean, is is the American a tropical American shrub? Reportedly, I mean, you can make camera out of American, can't you? But if you lose a couple of the letters as well, um, The only thing I'm clinging on to here is the fact that it takes pictures and it, fit, it fits the six letters. I have no idea if this is right. Uh, um, let's see. I mean, I, I have no idea. Simon has has provided an answer grid. So at the end, I will go to the answer grid and see if that's right or not. Um, but for now, we'll just leave it. And see, we'll just move on to the rest of the crossword. Like I've got no other checking letters, so I've no idea. Um, but I'm thinking of Hitchcock movies and cameras. Well, I mean, obviously, he used cameras to make movies. Um, yeah. Okay, let's try. Will we try twenty six across? Uh. Is that 20? Yeah, it is 26 across there. 26 across is oral carers. Depression is finished at this junction. So oral carer. Depression is finished at this junction. I want to say dentist. Because they're an oral carer. And depression is a dent. So we have dent. And then we have is. 
because it's in the clue, isn't it? Is um, where are we? Where's it going? At this junction, finished at. I suppose that's the T, isn't it? The T. It's a T junction. A T junction is a type of junction, isn't it? And it's finished, so the T rounds off this word. That's a lovely clue. Nice wordplay there. So just to be clear how that worked, we have dent. Um, so dent is the depression. And then is. And then the whole word is finished off by the, this junction. It's a type of junction, a T junction. And it means oral care or dentist. Very good. Dentist. So dentist, I mean, what's the name of that dentist that was a bit of a murderer? Sweeney, not Sweeney Tobit, was he a dentist? I want to say he was, but I'm not 100% sure. Not. <laughs> um, okay, let's try, where are we trying now? We try 17 down, let's try that. Uh, name for... 28 across reveals a dazzling egress. Wow. But I don't I haven't done 28 across yet, so I don't no idea. Let's go to 28 across then. Let's see what 28 across is saying. Spans dental work. Okay, that's a nice clue. I think that's bridge. A bridge is definitely dental work. And a bridge spans something, doesn't it? Um, I think how, that's how that works. I think, well, that would be bridges, wouldn't it? Spans would be bridges. I suppose if you want to say what a bridge does, it spans. So bridge, bridge looks right. Dental work, I think, is right there. Bridge. I want to say bridge. I'm going to stick with bridge. Okay. Let's try. This one here, this is 28 down. We have Bravo, I disemboweled redhead for Twitter. Um, so what does that mean? Where's the definition there? Is it Twitter? The disemboweled redhead, I'm thinking is RD, as in we've taken everything out of the redhead, leaving the, the, la no, the outer letters, RD. So I think this is bird. Um, so Bravo is B as in the NATO alphabet Alpha Bravo etc then we have I is literally there as an I and then we have disemboweled redhead bird and Twitter is what a bird does isn't it or is there a word for a bird as well I'm not sure but bird is there and bird I'm thinking of birds the Hitchcock movie as well so that looks looks right. Um, okay, cool. Let's try thirty one across. Thirty one across. We have. Do you hear this telephone company? I'm not sure. That's a lovely clue, Simon. I've got this one. Very nice. So. Do is literally in there as do. You here is a homophone of you, which is the letter U. Then the telephone company is BT in the UK, British Telecom. We put BT in there. We get doubt, which is not sure. Doubt. Very nice. Okay. Good. I think that's the, the right-hand side of that puzzle done. This is hard, though, isn't it? Whew. And it's hot today in here as well, so I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling under the pressure here, absolutely. Um, right, where to now, then? Where to now, exactly, shall we go? I don't know. Um, let's just try... Let's try 34 across. I've got no reason not to... Let's just see what it says here. Poised police officers in disgrace were evicted. Poise, 
police officers in disgrace were evicted. No idea. Police officers, PCs. were evicted. Oh, I see it now. Wow, that's nice, Simon. Whoa, these are tough, man. These are tough. So this means poised. Now, if, if you look at the word disgrace there, the police officers in disgrace are evicted. So the, a police officer could be a detective inspector which can usually be abbreviated to DI. And uh, if we remove the DIs here from disgrace there, look, um, we're left with grace, um, which I suppose means is a poise, isn't it? I'm, I'm going to go with it. I'm, I like my thinking. I like your clue there. Um, so I'm going to go with that. And also I'm thinking Grace Kelly, who was big in the old uh, Hitchcock movies. So, we're going with Grace. Very good. That was a nice moment there. Just, uh, just when you see the DIs coming out of disgrace, that was lovely. Um, right. Let's try twenty nine down now. Then twenty nine down. We have an R at the end. Female relative is drawn to a flame. I think. Female relative is drawn to a flame. I think. Um. Is this mother? I think this is mother. Again, nice clue. So female relative is a mother. And then a moth is drawn to a flame. And I think could be like a hesitation, like er. So moth and er give us mother. Wow. Again, that's a tough clue, Simon. That's tough. Drawn to a flame is a moth. Nice. Okay. So we have Grace Kelly, the mother. That's in Psycho, isn't it? Um, okay. Bear this in mind. It's definitely Hitchcock in then this whole thing, I think. Right. What's 32 across? Uh, casting shade on promo in the middle of a performance. Nice clue. I have this one. Okay. This is Shadow, I believe. So a promo is an ad. In the middle of a performance is a show. So we put ad inside show and we get shadow. Shadow. Very nice. Nice one, Simon. Cool. Right, we've got a, a letter here to date work with here for 30 across. Let's try 30 across. Give bearing to a defaced rock tower to discover a filmmaker. Could the answer to this be Hitchcock? Mm. Give bearing. No, it's not Hitchcock. There's not enough letters. Um, I think it's director. I want to say director. If you give bearing, you're sort of directing, aren't you? Um, director fits doesn't it definitely fits but is it uh, is it right I think direct and then defaced rock I think like a rock could be a tour as well, couldn't it? Ooh, discover a filmmaker's definitely a director. I mean, defaced rock could also be the thinking you're taking the ends off rock that would give us the O and the C. Oh, K. 
give bearing to a defaced rock tower. I mean, tower can be tore as well. There's a lot going on there, but I can't see the wordplay. Again, I can't see it. Sorry about this. I can't see the wordplay. Give bearing. Bearing could also be east, like north, south, east, or west, I suppose. Give bearing. I hope director's right now. Like, like I'm not. I'm not sure now. I'm going to I'm going to keep it in there. Apologies, I can't see the wordplay uh, exactly. Um, the faced rock, I would say, is C O. Taking the R and the K out of rock. Yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'm, I'm going to go with director and go. Just remain confident. This definitely fits the the theme, doesn't it? Like Alfred Hitchcock, he was an English director. We have English already. Um, I'm more confident about this English now as well. Um, okay, let's try Principalities car race here. Twenty five down. Um. Is this Monaco? Again, I'm not 100% sure about the wordplay. Principality. Monaco is definitely a principality. I'm going to go over that. And Monaco is also where Grace Kelly lived when she was married to the Prince of Monaco, wasn't she? I think. Um... Monaco, and it's also a, the Monaco Grand Prix is there, isn't it? So maybe that's the car race part, and then Principality. Principality. I think that maybe should be apostrophe S. Principality, apostrophe S, car race. Then that Monaco could work then, I think. I believe that's it. I believe that's right, though. Let's go, let's go with it. That's cool. Cool. You put me through it, Simon. You are definitely putting me through it. This is a challenge and a half. This one, um, twenty-seven down. Let's go there. Twenty-seven down. Um, we have. You need to bring up the day and time of your birth to access this wine cellar. So it's a down clue. We need to bring it up. Okay. I think I have this. This is quite a nice clue. So this the the definition here is wine cellar. I think this is a bodega. If I'm in Spain, you see this is all all becoming very handy for me being in Spain. My my Spanish speaking as part of me is uh switched on here. So we have a bodega. So how does that work? Um so you're your day of your birth is your DOB, and that's been put backwards. And then we have age as well. So age and DOB brought backwards gives us a uh, bodega the other way around, doesn't it? Um, cool. Nice. Thanks, Simon. 23 across. Let's look at that. What is that saying? Uh, we had 23, it's not 23 across, it's 33 across. So initially, fathers and mothers in line yield kith and kin. Yes, I have this. This one's initial letters one. Um, so it's initial letters of fathers and mothers in line yield. And kith and kin is the definition. We get family. Brilliant. Well, it's nice to have, nice to have one I can just get. <laughs> that's nice brilliant Simon okay motoring now I'm feeling like well, we're on the home straight aren't we um, where we go next 
let's try 16 down. Um, Catherine's chair aids mobility. Uh, Catherine's chair. Who is Catherine? And all this. Um, Catherine's chair aids mobility. Um, apologies if the big clue at the top of the screen keeps disappearing. It's just, um, like I say, I'm working on two Excel screens here. And uh, when I move between them, sometimes I've clicked the wrong place. So apologies about that. Um, I'm thinking this might be, is this wheelchair? I mean, it's definitely, it aids mobility, doesn't it? I'm thinking a Catherine wheel is a like a firework. And then chair uh, after that is wheelchair. Think this could be. I'm thinking also, wasn't there a wheelchair in? Um, thinking to all those Hitchcock movies I watched when I was younger, isn't there a wheelchair? Is it a Jimmy Stewart? I think it's Jimmy Stewart anyway. Is in a wheelchair in Vertigo, wasn't he? He's he's on the top floor. Is he also a photographer or not? Maybe that's where the camera is coming in here. But he's a he's a in a wheelchair, isn't he? Because he's broken his leg or something, and he can't get out. And he's on the top of the flat. Look, and he happens to be looking across, and sees some sort of murder. He thinks in the other one, he's definitely in a wheelchair in that, doesn't he? I think that's right. Wheelchair. Cool. Oh. Brilliant. Let's try twenty four across. Then what's that? Twenty four across. This dark letter could cost you money. Dark letter could cost you money. Thinking crimes here. Oh, I have this. Simon, tip my hat to you for this one. This is a nice clue. Blackmail. Dark black um, letter mail. Could cost you money, absolutely. If you uh, if you succumb to the demands, blackmail. Amazing. Very nice, Simon. That's a great clue. Very good. Okay. 22 across. Let's go there. Um, it's a stretch and certain to result in being enchanted. Okay. I think I have this as well. So... This, the definition here is, I think, is enchanted, being enchanted. So it's a stretch as a spell. See that? Spell. And then certain to is bound. Another way of saying it, something's bound to happen, it's certain to happen, isn't it? So spell bound. Brilliant. Nice. Not, is that a, I don't know, is that a Hitchcock movie or not? I don't know. But definitely fits. Cool. Right. Let's try 17 down. Now we've got a few letters here. Let's see what we can do with 17 down. Well, that's that. Okay. Name for 28 across. 28 across was a bridge. Okay. Reveals a dazzling egress. Yeah, there's only because not not many bridges have names, are there? Um, I think I've just clicked on the wrong thing again. Hang on a sec. Here we go. Name for twenty eight across. Okay, think of some bridges with names. <laughs> London Bridge. No, London fitted there though, didn't it? But a dazzling egress. Golden Gate. Definitely dazzling. Golden, isn't it? Golden Gate. I'm going with Golden Gate. I'm not sure 100% about this, but um, I'm going to go with it. As, we're, as I'm typing, I can't think. I can't... I can't remember, I can't think of the definition for 
egress or egress. But golden definitely sounds a dazzling. Golden gate. Okay. I'm not amazingly confident about the answers I've put in there, but uh, a lot of them I am confident about. Golden gate, I'm not sure. Still not sure 100% about camera. Cameo, I don't understand the, the wordplay. It must be a sports car that I'm not aware of, maybe. Um, or type of sports car or something. Right, let's go back to the ones we had at the start now, which um, I'm trying to think of, bear in mind the whole uh, Hitchcock theme here. Um, I'm going to go one down. Former lover left at Pinnacle and I went to dizziness. Could this be Vertigo? Because now I'm thinking of Hitchcock, and, you know, that wheelchair has made me think of uh, Jimmy Stewart in Vertigo. It definitely means dizziness. Former lover is an ex, left at Pinnacle, and I, okay, this is Vertigo. Nice clue, Simon. Nice. So former, lo- right, so former lover is your ex. The pinnacle of something is the vertex, isn't it? Or the apex. I want to say vertex, but I'm not sure. Now that I've said that. And then I, and then go is went, maybe. Vertigo. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with vertigo just because uh, it's a Hitchcock movie, and it definitely seems... Vertex. I'm I'm literally doubting myself now. Is a vertex a corner? Is a vertex a pinnacle or something? I don't know. Ape, apex, vertex. I'm sticking with I'm sticking with vertigo. Fits the theme. Fits the theme. So I'm gonna stick with that. Um right. Where have we got left? We have that we have nine across, which is that deadly duo. And we have this one, three across, fulfill the transfer of this property deed. Fulfill the transfer of this property deed, ends in T. No, I don't know what this is. I think you've defeated me here, Simon. I can't see what this is. Okay, what we're learning here is crosswords are very tough without checking letters, aren't they? Cryptic crosswords are tough without checking letters. Um, with one letter T, mm. I don't know what that is. Let's try nine. I'm going to go nine across again. See what that is. Uh, nine across here is okay. This deadly Jew. So this is a deadly Jew. Probably famous that I don't know the name of. Paid to dance with ballooned heavenly feline danced. I don't know. I do want to say heavenly feline could be a cat in the sky, it could be Leo. Leo is this, someone's name. Doesn't really work with some Leo and something, though, does it? And Leo is not in the right place here either. Nine down. That would be ending. It could be Cleo, I suppose. No. I 
I don't know what this is either. Oh. So near yet so far. I've been murdered by Simon's murder puzzle. <laughs> his, his Hitchcockian puzzle has uh, has left me wiped out here on the floor. I don't know. I don't just don't know these this deadly duo, and I can't quite work out the wordplay. I say it's an anagram of paid and ballooned, but then the heavily feline doesn't come into it. Heavily feline, Leo, that's three letters. Balloon is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters. That's 12 letters. We need 14. So we need another two letters from somewhere. Oh, I don't see it. Simon, brilliant puzzle. I'm defeated though. I can't. I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it. So, thank you for sending it in. I just can't see the last two. The last two clues. Um, very very enjoyable. I love the theme. Really cool and some lovely clues. I love blackmail. It was really good. Um, I'll go to my last screen. My last. There we are. We're here. So, um, like I say, I love the. Uh, Love blackmail. Oh, so frustrating. Just the last, the last two clues. I suppose it's more than two clues, really. It's like there's four, there's one, two, three answers left out. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to have a look at this answers section and see if um and see if it's see what it is because it's. Super frustrating. I'm going to click. I don't even know if it move when I go to the answers tab. What this is going to do to the screen? If it's going to keep it the same or not? But we'll have a look and see. Um. Oh, it's made it much bigger. Hang on. Let's move that down. Um. I think the loans at thirty seven percent. So I'll put that at thirty seven as well. There we go. Now, what is the answer? For three across, the answer was Grant. Oh, so that's like Cary Grant. A fulfill is Grant, I suppose. A property deed, is that a Grant? Didn't know that. Who's if you grant something, you're allowing it to happen, aren't you? Nice. Very good, Simon. Beat me with that one. And then who's this deadly duo? Leopold and Loeb. Leopold and Loeb. That sounds a bit familiar to me now. I would have said it out loud, Leopold and Loeb, but I don't know. Don't know who they are and what. How was it worked? How is it? So ballooned is in there, isn't it? Ballooned. Leo was in there as well. Look at that, Leo. And then we have Pold and OEB. Is that's not balloon, though, is it? Have we got a P in there? Um, balloon is B A. Two L's as well. I can't. Uh, that's frustrating. Didn't get it, but Simon, that was a fantastic puzzle. Thank you again for sending that in. Please let Simon know in the comments what you think of the puzzle. Um, it was a puzzle too far for me in this case, I'm afraid, but hopefully you enjoyed the watch, watch me struggle there. Um, like I say, it was a really, really good fun. Simon, please do send in some more. If you create any more puzzles, please do send them in. Um, I really enjoyed that despite not being able to finish it. Um, like I say, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And, uh, like I say, let Simon know how he's, what you think of his, uh, efforts in the, in the comments, I'm sure you'll be very, very complimentary. I think it's brilliant, Simon. I think it's uh, a great feat to come up with any sort of puzzle like this. And uh, especially they have a theme as well, it's brilliant. 
So um, thank you again. And thank you all for watching. And I shall see you again next time. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.